Hey everyone, I welcome you all to Simply Learn. In today's session, we will discuss about types of statistical studies. A statistical study is a four step process that begins by asking the right questions. The steps are to collect appropriate data and organize and analyze the data to arrive at a proper conclusion. So, in this session, we'll discuss what types of statistical studies are used to finally arrive at the conclusion. There are mainly three types of statistical studies. The first one is observational study, the second one is sample, and the third are the experiments. Let's discuss each one of them in detail. Observational study. An observational study is when researchers are looking at the effect of some types of intervention, risk, a diagnostic test, or treatment without trying to manipulate who or what the subject is. There is no interference on the research subjects. Let's try to understand this with the help of an example. Suppose the researchers investigate the link between the use of cell phones and the brain cancer. There are two variables in this study. One is the extent of the cell phone usage and the second one is whether the person has a brain cancer previously or not. Both variables are measured for the group of people. This is an observational study. There was no attempt to influence people's cell phone usage to see if different levels of usage made any difference in whether or not a person developed the brain cancer. The next one is sample study. In statistics, a sample is an analytical subset of a larger population. The use of samples allow researchers to conduct their studies with more manageable data and in a timely manner. Randomly drawn samples do not have much bias if they are large enough. But achieving such a sample may be expensive and time consuming. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Suppose a company has 800 female employees and 200 male employees. Uh, you want to ensure that the sample reflects the gender balance of the company. So you sort the population in two strata based on gender. Then you use a random sampling on each group by selecting 80 women and 20 women respectively, which will give you the representative sample of 100 people. Now you can conduct your statistical analysis on these 100 people to arrive at a larger conclusion. The last one is experimental study. Experimental studies involve the random assignment of participants into different groups in order to determine the casual effect of a certain conditions on a certain outcome. Suppose that an observational study indicated that certain type of trees did not have much termite damage as the other trees. Researchers wondered if the resins from the trees was toxic to termites. So they decided to do an experiment where they exposed some termites to the resin and the other with the plain water and recorded whether the termites survived. The explanatory variable, that is the treatment variable, is the exposure type, resin, plain water. And the response variable is whether or not the termites survived. We can say that this is an experiment because the researchers imposed a treatment on the subjects. This can be termed as an experimental study. Statistics is a very large and deep topic and the three types of studies form the basics of any statistical analysis. I hope you like this video. If yes, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that like button. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, thank you and happy learning. Hi there, if you like this video, subscribe to the Simply Learn YouTube channel and click here to watch similar videos. To nerd up and get certified, click here.